clear polish off. So they still feel okay. So I did the fill in um, already. Um, so that's why I had a short set. The only thing I really did is that you have to use like your base um, gel. It's all good enough to show you real quick fast. I don't know if I was able to get to put it from the first time, but this is the foundation, and you place this down if you're doing a refill or if you're doing a, a new set. You always put your foundation down first after you um, do your pro bond and prep. Because prepping it and drilling it and getting that extra, uh, getting your nail, getting that shine off of it is the main thing, so you don't get any lifting and pushing your cuticle back and so on and so on. Because this will not lift if you um, follow the steps correctly. Um, that's why I'm going to love it because it's absolutely like I haven't experienced any lifting. And if I do, it's probably like on my opposite, it's on my dominant hand because I can get, you know, this hand is just my dominant hand, my right hand is. So, but I'm really not even lifting on my right, so they all look pretty good. Hey, and if you don't want to use a drill like this, this is an e-basket drill that I picked up from Amazon. It's like totally professional grade, like two, three hundred. It's a really good drill. So I only have seventy percent. I usually like to uh, use ninety percent. But this is what was at the store. Which is um, Cosmocraft, but I got I saved so much money getting a lot of this stuff off of um, Amazon cheaper than I did at the uh, beauty supplies that goes to. And I usually um, hit up Cosmocraft, that's like the only one I really go to, and Sally's. Sally's um, has been, they just the bomb, man. I've been going to Sally's for years now. And they are really getting a lot of this stuff in, especially for natural hair and stuff. Okay, so.
Did my thumb off camera finished it up and that's the three um tones i used the darker like apricot so i'm kind of like at the bottom and the baby baby pink at the um top so what i basically did i just applied um the forms to each of the, the remaining nails and i filled it um i did the tips with all white and i used this tomic tom tomic tomica Sorry, I was seeing it wrong. Uh, poly gel white. It's a pretty good um, poly gel. I really don't have no complaints about it. Um, that's the um, Out the Nudes collection. That's the um, 331. And then you have, this is a bit of apricot um, shade, I would say. And it's 335. So these are um, really pretty though, like I said, for especially for fall. Um, I did a look with, um, I think I pretty much used all shades of this. Because uh, I've done um, a set before and they, it's really pretty. It takes, it's a little bit on the gooier side, but, um, and it takes with the opaque ones, it takes a little bit longer for it, um, it to dry anyhow. So let's see. When I chose to use today, it's just the um, alcohol. It's my, uh, or you can use the slip solution, but I just chose to use um, the alcohol. To be honest, I think the alcohol works better with the Macard. Um, Cause the slip, slip solution, I got is the Jealous. The Jealous, it works good, really good with the Jealous brand, but um, I don't know. I just want to fill in it with these uh, cards. So, this is what I'm gonna go in with. This is the 331, this is the Pretty Pink. Baby pink. I'm just giving it a name, but it's really pretty. I love this pink. It's so soft. It's like perfect um, for ombre, and it's a nude. So, oh, so, much. so you can like, um, let's see, to get it out if you want. You can use, um, you can use this, this like, little spatula, or I'm just doing it like this quicker way um getting it on there so and it's all about you know that fade um because this is like super um let's see how can i say it's um it can get gooey so it's all about the fade and just like i said do the best you can with that sometimes you gotta let that down a little bit more you see what I mean by it can glue on your arm um, brush. So you just, you know, you it goes uh, wherever you want it to go. And next, this is kind of, if I don't, you see how it's like kind of going to the side the other ones are. And that's not what I want. Just bring that back over there. Yeah. 
I just want to get my feet real nice for this. Like I said, take your time because um, I'm, uh, a lot of people call it this baby boom. It's an ombre and ombre fading, you know, it's, it could be time consuming when you do your first one. So, but you know, just take your time and you'll get a really nice blend on it. It's just this particular brand is a little gooey. I think I got that blended the way I want. I'm still building the apex um, because I kind of um, put that, I didn't put a real thick, thick layer of white on my forehead tip, so I'm still technically building that, but um, by the time I get done, it'll be fine. It'll be up to where, I, it'll be built up to where I want it, just because um, I'm put, using different colors, then I go in with a really thin coat of that uh, natural clear. But um, after you get your white on, all you do is like take the file and kind of like file it down a little bit. You have to use the drill. This when you file it down a little bit or use your drill, you get that grit before you. Um, it'll hold on to that uh, grab on to that poly gel better. Not bad. It, um, you take your time with it, and trust me, the more sets that you do, the better you get. If you were uh, wondering to um, try to DIY this at home, you know, I think it's, you know, it's cool, but it's it's not everybody's cup of tea to try to do it at home. But um, you know, say hey, if you like the colors, maybe you can take it to your stylist uh, or whoever does your nails. You know, you can pick out some of these colors and take it over if you like it, or they might have it. You know, so. But I know it's very popular on uh, Amazon, this brand is. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think outside. I'm trying to think. Do they sell outside of Amazon? Probably so. Because I know Jellish does. Because you, they sell in the, all kinds of stores. Um, Cosmo, Prof Carries, Jellish. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Yeah, it's always like, there's plenty of vendors online that um, sell Jellish too, so. Some of them require you to have a license, some of them don't, so. That's the good thing about that. If you don't have a uh, license, you can get it off of Amazon, and some other websites don't require that. So like I said, you do your fade and And with, you know, everybody does these different. So don't think your way is wrong. Everybody has a unique way of how they um, uh, do their style. Nobody's one and the same. So that's what makes it, you know? So you get your unique style you do. Sometimes, you know, if you do that, you can't swipe it and say, trying to find it, but the vanilla might can use it. Uh, I might use a little bit more on my pinky. Um, but you can always take your spatula and swipe it and put it on another nail besides waste it.
darker apricot but i like to do them like if i'm doing like a three-way um ombre um with well with i guess the two tones as the colors i do like to do a longer um nail to me they just look nicer on there um with the darker apricot you see this is just a soft pink see what i'm talking about i like that too though so i was kind of like debating i was like well let me go ahead and do the three tone on this one because i'm trying to remember how i've done it in a while Cause I know I did this color before, just the baby pink. But there you have it. Thanks for joining me, and see you later. Toodles.